if the cops are trying to solve the crime, shouldn't you snitch? Yes, you should. You should, right. So it's a stigma that's been going on for generations. But I'm more along the lines of police in my own community. Police I may not in your get own information, but if I catch something out of line, I check it myself. You want the cops out of your neighborhood? Stop doing dumb stuff. Now here's my question. Here's my question to you. I'm asking you a question. Give me Leviticus chapter 5 verse 1. Here's my question. What's a way to change a neighborhood that's filled with crime? What's something you can apply in order to change a neighborhood that has a lot of crime? What's a solution for that community? What would you say? say it starts with the home. Okay, it starts with the home. What do you say? To fix a neighborhood that has a high crime rate, what needs to be applied? The community. You said what? Community. Community. Let me ask you a question, brother. In order to fix a neighborhood that has a high crime rate, what is a solution to that community? There's what needs to be applied? There's multiple, there's multiple solutions. Number one, right? Uh -huh. Both. Both. You know, both. Both law enforcement, law enforcement, and community members, and community members have to act as a, as a unity. Have to act as a unity. They have to get on a the unit. same page. Yep. Yes, they have to get on the so same page. So law enforcement needs to be on one accord with the community. Yes. 100%. Okay. Now here's my question: What does law enforcement do when the community applies "don't snitch"? What do the cops do? When the community says, we don't snitch on... All right, I'm going to give you this scenario. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 22. If there's a rape on Broad and Gordon, the cops come to your house. Boop, 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 boop. We're ready. We're with the law enforcement, Staten Island local precinct. Hey, my name is Sergeant Phillips. There was a rape here at this neighborhood between uh, about 10.45 p.m. Do you know who it may be? Do you have any idea who it might be? Do a lot of people in Stapleton, do you think they would cooperate with the law enforcement? Not at all. Ooh, that's a very, that's true. So a lot of people in Stapleton, they ain't gonna say nothing. I know why too. Why? Because it's a, it's, a, it's a stigma that's been going on for generations. It's a that, stigma that's been going on for generations. What's the stigma? The stigma is the stigma that law enforcement have. Uh, right? Hold on, let me get you the mic. Right. Oh, sorry. So first and foremost, the stigma that law enforcement have with the community is that the way law enforcement carries their obligations to serve the community. Uh -huh. The way they serve the community, people don't appreciate it. People don't appreciate the they way don't. the cops act in the community. They don't. But now let me ask you a question. If the cops are trying to solve the crime, shouldn't you snitch? Yes, you should. You should, right. Now give me that scripture. Give me chapter 22. Chapter 22? Good point. Good point. Verse 25. Listen to this. But if they may. Right. Do you agree what he said? If a rape occurs on Gordon and Broad, and the cops are asking you, do you have any idea who might have done the crime? Do you think brothers from Stapleton would cooperate with the cops? They wouldn't. Isn't that a problem? That's a big problem. And it does a big problem. Yes, yes. Read this. I'm going to read the scripture. Less. That's a big problem. Read this. But if a man find a patrol damsel. If a man finds a woman, a patrol damsel, read. In the field. In the field, okay, all right, there's no field here, it's a street, Broadway and Gordon, read. And the man forced her. The man forced her, meaning she didn't want to have sex with this man, but he forces her. What do we call that today? Rape. That's right. Read. And lie with her. Read. Then the man only. This is what God says to do to that man. That lay with her shall die. What did God say the man must have? What happens to him? Shall die. What happens to rapists? Shall die. What happens to rapists? Shall die. This is the Bible. That's right. God, he said we should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to rapists in jail? Lock them up. Yes. Yeah. But listen, that's not how we can't do it. Uh, here's what you can do. This is no front. This is what you can do. Because none of us can legally kill somebody unless it's self-defense. But a rapist, here's the law that you apply. Here's how you clean up Stapleton. You want to say something? Come up, come up, come up. Say something, say something. Get to the point, though. You want to know how to clean up Stapleton? 
the community has to take care of their neighborhood. The so community has to take care of the neighborhood. That's a good point. That's true. You want the cops out of your neighborhood? Stop doing dumb stuff. Okay, but you say you want the cops out of your neighborhood? Stop doing dumb stuff. Okay, that's true. Listen to this. Watch this. Leviticus chapter 5 verse 1. Come on. And if a soul sin. The Bible says if a soul sins, that could be murder, that could be rape, that could be robbery, that could be a child molester. Read. And if they so sin, come on, and hear the voice of swearing. Now look, it says you heard the voice of swearing. Look, and there's a witness. You didn't do the crime, but you witnessed it in your window. You saw what he was wearing. You know who it might be. Read. Whether he has seen, whether you saw the crime, or known of it, whether you know the brothers or men that participated in the crime if he do not utter it god says if you don't snitch if you do not tell the cops then he shall bear his iniquity so i'm gonna break it down what's the judgment to a rapist what do we read god said to do what to a rapist kill him if you witness a rape and you know who did it but you don't snitch what did god say to do to that person and he then he shall bear God says kill that man. 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 Why? Because you said I'm not a snitch. That's why Stapleton is the way it is. That's why. What happened? There was a time when the community would tell, would snitch. But guess what? That time is not no more. So a lot of people, you know who's doing crime. You know who's the Crips. You know who's the Bloods. You know what they're doing, but in your mind, they doing them, I'm doing me. Give me Zephaniah chapter two, verse one. You wanna say something, Cap? Okay, Zephaniah chapter two, verse one. You say you're more along the lines. But I'm more along the lines of police in my own community. Police I may not give information, but if I catch something out of line, I check it myself. You check yourself. But look, I understand what you're saying. It's good to police your own community. But before you can even get to that step, this is not being applied in Stapleton. Read this. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Are the brothers gathered together here in Stapleton? Are brothers in one mind in this community? They're not. Some of these people, some of our brothers and sisters here, they would snitch. A lot of them would not snitch. That's division. That's division. Hold that. Get Matthew 12, 25. That's division. You got to get everybody on the same page. That's right. Why the brother with the hat walking away? The brother with 15 answers. How you walking away? You got all the solutions and you walking away. We try to fix the community. He walk away. This is the problem with black people. Hey, hey, brother, I got the answers. It's not a black nah, or white. Nah, nah, it's not a black or white problem. The problem is people don't want to listen because they don't want to put the work in. So you said it's not a black or white problem. It's that people don't want to put the work in. Well, look, it's not a black or white problem, but it is a black problem. That's right. It's a black problem. Let's deal with that. So now read this. Matthew chapter this. 12. Verse 25. Come on. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said it to them. Listen to what Christ said. Christ is going to give us the recipe to fixing a community. Listen. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Every kingdom divided against itself is not going to last, Christ says. Read on. And every city. Look at this, brother. Or hell. Every city. Staten Island, this is a city, this is the area. Every city or house uh -huh. divided. Divided. So y'all brothers here in Staten Island, y'all are not on one accord. Y'all are divided. You're divided by gangs. You're divided by drug activity. You're divided in your marriages. There is no unity in Staten Island. Read. And every city or house divided Come on. against itself. Against itself. Because guess what? There are our brothers like you that's like, no, we got to fix this. But then you got so many other brothers that really don't care. Read. Against itself shall not stand. Christ said that area is not going to stand. So how do you fix it? Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. 
the first way to fit, you got a flyer? I know you said you got to go. You got a flyer? Watch our videos. Check us out, all right? Okay, all praises. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Listen. Hello. Gather yourselves together. So y'all brothers and sisters in Staten Island, first you must understand what is your nationality. God says you're an Israelite. That's right. That's your God-given nationality. If you believe in the Bible, every race is in the Bible. But where are blacks and Latinos in the Bible? Yay! Gather together. Gather together in keeping God's commandments, he saw it saying. Oh, nation not desired. Why does it say nation not desired? Because nobody loves black people. I like what, um, what's his name? D.L. Hughley said. Everybody wants to be black until the cops pull them over. You know. Because... Chinese, you ever meet a Chinese person, he dresses black, he acts black, he likes the culture, he likes the style. You'll meet white people, they dress black, act black, whatever race, we have that spirit. Other races love our spirit. They love our persona. But when the cops pull you over, oh, they ain't black no more. They are not black no more. <laughs> they not black. Because it ain't going to work out. Right, it ain't going to work out. <laughs> Give me Matthew 5. So now, let me ask you a question. Uh, no problem, no problem. Take care. No problem, take care. Give me Matthew chapter 5 and verse 20. Matthew chapter 5, verse 20. So now, some of the brothers earlier said, well, the brother earlier said, it's about the relationship that law enforcement has with the community. Because some of y'all here say, but to probably like, yo, F the police, F the cops, F the cops. And then when your house get robbed, 911! Read. Matthew chapter 5, verse 25. Read out, read agree out. with thy adversary quickly. The Bible says agree with your adversary quickly. When the cops pull you over, Christ is telling you how to conduct yourself with the police. Do not curse the police out. Do not stick your middle finger at the police. Read it again. Agree with thine adversary quickly. So the Bible says agree with your adversary quickly. So meaning, of course the cop is going to explain to you why you're in the wrong. Christ is saying be cordial. Right. Take the fault. Look, all right, yes, officer, I apologize, no problem, whatever. Watch, read this. Whilst thou art in the way with him. Why does it say whilst thou art in the way with him? Because he's mentioning what you did wrong. Right. According to what legal law you broke. Read. Yes. At any time, the adversary deliver thee to the judge. At less than any time, the cop is going to deliver you to the judge. Why? For resisting arrest. Right. For That's fighting right. the cops. For yeah. cursing them out. You know. Men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. 